when you watch a hockey game, how it, it almost never looks different. It never feels different, maybe outside of the free T-shirts people get. And Nashville just felt and looked different. There was a lot of yellow. It had catfish on the ice. It had country music stars who were singing the national anthem. It had thousands of people streaming outside. It was a non-traditional hockey market that was all in. I think it just looked different and felt different. And I also think that the country music thing factored into a casual fan kind of getting it. Maybe people that didn't care about hockey, but knew Carrie Underwood or Dirks Bentley or any of these other guys that either showed up at the game or were singing the national anthem or were kind of connected to it, kind of paid attention. And country music is huge now. Huge. Absolutely huge. So it connected into that for maybe an audience that didn't care about hockey. And then I also wonder, and I'd have to check this out, what the ratings were across the South. Because you can make the argument that Nashville is the only true Southern hockey market. True Southern hockey. Because Atlanta's not really, and that was a total failure, but you've got transplants from everywhere. Florida isn't the real South, Tampa and Miami. Dallas, I mean, you know, we put them in Sunbelt cities. We put all these teams, Phoenix. But what's the real South? Like, this is SEC country. That is it. That is a NASCAR and SEC football city. And I wonder if Alabama and Mississippi and South Carolina and Georgia and all these other places that don't watch hockey went like, oh, well, that's kind of our team. Well, we kind of get that. This is unique. This is interesting. I wonder. I don't know. I just wonder. It's just totally different than anything we have really seen. And I don't know. I just would have thought Sharks, Penguins would have done the same thing as Predators, Penguins. But, I mean, it, like, doubled the rating in a lot of games, in a lot of markets. It's pretty wild.